Hold on. Hello, everyone of the internet. This is Bong Gone, and we are with Whistleblowers Part. I don't know. Any, is this Part Four now? <laughs> I'm bad at counting. And I have one of the more popular admins that I have personally whistleblowed about on um, with Fancy and with Peaches. I wanted guys to meet Dark Fox, someone who has been pro bullied by Davis, and he can talk about his experience and pretty much tell his story of what happened where I can tell him what I was told. Hi, hi, I thought I might as well introduce myself. Hi, my name is Dark Fox. I actually have my YouTube channel is Professor Dark Fox Samomo, by the way. I changed it from the Emotive Umbreon, so. Mm -hmm. So, and so I'm actually, as I'm saying, yeah, I did actually, I actually was like, I thought that that was normal at that point, because, you know, I'm on the autism spectrum, so I thought it was normal, because sometimes my, my autism and ADHD can get a little annoying, too, so I was like, at first, and then I finally realized something after, after the game. That, that was, that was not, that it was something else. Mm -hmm. That was, that was at that point when I realized it, because of my ADHD. I thought it was because of that, but it was something else entirely. No, so we, it was disgusting. With Zavis, I realized my ADHD, that, that basically it wasn't just to that, it's because, he actually, like, you know, like, there's one word that most people associate with autism with in the past, and that was the word mental retardation, which I actually, which I actually am one of those who dis heavily dislikes that word, actually. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's a word that used to be described for people with autism in some ways. In the past, like, I, for one, was going, I was actually, like, I actually was finishing high school at that point. Although I actually, at that point, I was finishing high school, even though I was supposed to graduate in 2020. Like, like seriously. <laughs> Over coronavirus hit. I've had like a few experiences. Like, at first I thought that Zavis was actually just was just muting me because of my ADHD, and then I realized later on that it was bullying. Yeah. Like. Um... I don't know if you remember the meeting uh, where some of the meetings he would deafen you. Yeah, I remember those. And he would just mock you, and it was just disgusting. And one of the meetings where he deafened you, he threatened, he started to threaten me and Fancy to pretty much participate in the bullying. And I was like, I'm not taking part of this at all. I I was disgusted at the same time. I was blackmailed to be removed as an admin, and since I was undercover, um, I was like, oh, fuck, I have to do this. And I just felt so disgusted because I think that's when he wanted to join the YouTube team. And I was just like, I was like, this is disgusting that Davis threatened us to go to higher tier admins and tell you that you weren't fit. And I remember one of the events that I went to where... He bullied you to a point where literally you just hosted an event, muted, and I was like, I'm done listening to the echo chamber of Dark Fox as a depressed person, where, again, I think I witnessed the end of the bullying, and not the beginning of the bullying, where, where at the beginning I could tell that you were very good at Pokemon and you were passionate about it, but near the end, I just could tell that you just given up due to the bullying. Uh, I still haven't given up on VGC, but I have given up on, like, trying to actually, on trying to help with most of it, like, you know, like, I'm still passionate about it, but it's just, like, lost a little bit of it because of that, because of the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd rather participate a little bit, like, in, like not in, like, not on, not on the Fern Valley server, but on other servers, I'd rather participate in. I'd rather participate in that type of stuff on other servers. Mm -hmm. And I sent you the screen share of him saying, um, another claim I bullied a former admin called Dark Fox. This is no not true as 
the occasion to proper communicate and had this fright of following admin during that admin event, I saw that it was not fit for my team and removed him. Which, again, you weren't removed from Davis's team. Davis managed to pretty much, Davis and Simba pretty much removed you from all teams after that point. Yep. And how did that make you feel? Like, someone who just got away from this purely bullying you and you can talk about certain events or if you don't want to I can talk about what I witnessed in the echo chamber of what I for me I actually for me I actually was like I was not even 100% sure what was going on in some cases like you know like I actually like try to look things to a positive mind because you know in 2020 I went through a surgery that brought back like major depression from years and years in the past mm -hmm. I had my wisdom teeth removed in 2020, so it brought back some like very like stressful moments from my life in the past that, which actually can be linked to depression. Actually, like I 20 year, like 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 over over like a lot of years of depression. I've and I've managed to actually live a normal life, even if I even though I'm on the, on the autism spectrum, like. Like, seriously, I actually thought that Davis was actually just muting me because of my ADHD and all that. So, yeah, at that point, I would never have even guessed that it was bullying because people have done that to me in the past and I thought it was normal. No, it's not. And like you said, near the end, you realize it was bullying. And again, he deafened you when he started mocking you. So you would be like, oh, this is normal. No, it, was, it wasn't, and it's just, like, I feel awful for what I participated in, and again, who was the person who, after I apologized, I did tell you information about them making fun of you being a VTuber, and how did that make you feel? Yeah, I actually, people actually make fun of VTubers a lot, so I actually, so I kind of understand why. Like, certain VTubers I've known, actually, like, I've done a little bit from time to time, so, like, like I can ref I can understand that feeling of being made fun of, you know? Mm -hmm. But I can definitely tell in your tone of voice that you're a lot more relaxed than you were in uh, the server, which is nice, because I remember that you were always stuttering on your words, and... Well, that was back when I was 19, like, like my early 19-year-old year. year. Mm -hmm. Like, I actually, like, I actually also have anxiety, so that actually happens a lot, too. Like, well, it, it's happened from years, like, many years, like, growing up, I actually have, like, I, many different types of things that I'm, I'm trying to get over, like, with my anxiety. That was one of those moments that I was like, I was like, if I fuck this up, I'm actually screwed. Mm hmm Seriously, like, I've worked on some projects of my own in the past, but but something like that, I actually was like, oh boy, if I'm gonna fuck this up, I'm actually I'm screwed. Yep. So I That's want to ask you your opinion on a couple things, since obviously we talked about what happened with the bullying and. Unless you want to keep on talking about it, I wanted to talk about something else that recently happened. Yeah, that would be good talking about what recently happened, you know? Because I just need to know what's happening recently. Like, So, you know how Davis is. It's always him having the last word and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, Davis decided to copyright strike a YouTuber... For covering the Furry Valley drama that that Furry Valley has. Um, have you heard of Largo? Largo Vert? Yeah, yep. Largo Vert. Yeah, basically, I actually was, I've heard of him, yeah. Well, pretty much, this is his new video now. He had to put both parts into one part of a video. And Davis keeps on copyright claiming it or trying to file for... um privacy complaints because 
he's trying to pretty much hide the fact of what Bray Valley did in 2018 and 2019, where I'm revealing the light of what happened in 2021 with what happened to you with the bullying. And so this video might be taken down or admins might come up to you and be like, hey, he participated in bullying where I told you I, I had my hands tied. It sucked. Yeah, me, I'd actually, me, I'd actually, I understand the full story, basically, like, like, you know what, I actually knew that some people weren't actually willing participants, you know? I can tell by their tone, you know, even if it's by text, I can tell by their tone. And it was just Like, awful. seriously. I've learned how to tell by tone. Mm -hmm. If somebody types in a, in a hastily manner, if it goes right as I'm texting something, I, I could tell that it's something that is, that is not, that is either forced or actually, or, or like, or the other, or like the other way around, you know? Mm -hmm. I've learned from years of experience on how to tell when something's forced and when it's not. I also, like, like seriously, like, when I found out a lot about myself in 2020, like, the fact that I found a lot of things out about myself, and I joined the fandom that same year. Like, same year after I turned 18, I joined mm -hmm. the fandom. And yet, yet this whole experience, this whole experience at Furry Valley did not actually change that at all. Since I already knew, that, I actually could tell that there was something behind the scenes, but I just didn't didn't notice it fully yet. When did you notice uh, the behind the scenes things? And I just noticed that some people were actually like, I just noticed that some people like I looked up the channel back back whenever I actually was an admin, and I saw people were covering the drama already. Mhm. Mm so here's an obvious question: What's to say? Metaphorically, what you said about what happened with you, with Davis, and what's to say Davis finally gets removed. Would you feel justification that someone who was the bigger picture of bullying you finally getting punished? Would you like to see yes, that? Yes, I would. Or, what? Yes, I would. I'd like him to actually get justice and get his own, and get his own fame removed, get discredited himself. Mm hmm Like... That's why I avoided you was because I just didn't want to witness what he did to you, and I felt bad about it because I feel like if we if you had a bond like me and Peaches did, where like people made fun of Peaches, but Peaches was very kind to me and I was kind to him, and he opened up to me. I feel like if we had that bond like me and Peaches had, I feel like we would I would have been like soft as shit, but because. I was always working during that time when the bullying happened, and you can talk about it more, or if not, you know, this is pretty much a quick podcast, but I just was like, I was more in that echo chamber of Dark Fox is depressed. He needs to be removed. Dark Fox needs to be removed because he's not a good admin. Dark Fox is terrible. He's getting more and more depressed, and I was just like, I was in that echo chamber of information, of of misinformation, of I only got one-eighth of the story, and you are literally filling up the rest of the seventh, of the eighth of the story. Yeah, I'm literally my and I actually was like, I was happy with some of that, some of the stuff, but not every single bit of it. I was like, like mixed feelings, you know? I actually had mixed feelings about it. Mm-hmm. And that's why I personally invited you to the whistleblowers is because for me, it's closing a chapter of what I did to you due to what Davis forced us to do. And for me, this is like closing a chapter to my guilt of what I did to you. And hopefully you can tell I, I'm being sincere. And I can I'm, by your tone. I could tell. And I actually acknowledge it. But, I can tell by the tone, you know? It's a, a sincere tone is easier to sense. Mm -hmm. And obviously, with this video coming out, I'm going to give you the WeTransfer just in case if Davis tries to take down my YouTube. Because again, you have stated things that 
pretty much incriminates him of bullying you, where at first you thought, you're like, oh, this is okay, and then I told you what happened behind the scenes. And you're like, oh, I realized the other end, it wasn't okay. Yeah, as you know, I grew up with, like, bullying all the time, so, like, growing up like that, like, it's kind of a rough thing to do growing up like that. Mm-hmm. So, to me, I just, like, then it took me just thinking, is it really normal that people are doing this? And then, then I started to from the team, I was like, meh, I was like, I could sense something was going on, that was the point, so, yeah. Yeah. I look back at the year, I look yeah. back at, look back at that moment a year later, like, like right yeah. now, and I'm like, Man, I feel like I'm glad I've been removed because you know. I feel like it would have been worse. worse. Yep. I would have actually just. I would have just snapped, you know, like because I was actually suffering from depression from 2020. Like, that's like the year in 2020. I lost a close relative, so yeah, I was already suffering from major depression at that point. Mm-hmm. And yet. You went to the fandom to get help, to make friends, and then all of a sudden, like, hopefully you have a better community now, but all of a sudden it's just like, this one admin just decided, hey, I don't like this kid, and I like that you have changed so much. Like, I can sense that you have a lot more maturity, and it's nice to hear the real Dark Fox, and, like, I'm honored that you're willing to show the real you, and I'm honored that you're not like, uh... I'm so angry. You're you're very humble, and I like that about you. Is that you're very humble? I was raised, I was raised that way, actually. I was raised to forgive somebody if they haven't done anything wrong to you. And I'm like the person who's like poking you with a hot stick, like, okay, come on. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not hitting you with a hot stick to hit you with a hot stick. I'm like, I'm hitting you with a hot stick because again, more you say, maybe your story will finally wake up the higher tier admins be like okay what we did is wrong we know who was in control of it and get him properly removed i'd be happy to see him removed even if it even if it means like seriously like you know like blackmailing is a criminal offense in some in some countries mm -hmm. and i don't know if you were blackmailed to stay quiet about the bullying no, I meant about like I meant about like money, like you know, like I wasn't extorted or anything, but I actually could tell that to those who were blackmailed, I I remember that this is actually a criminal offense in some countries. Mm hmm I was blackmailed about the money situation, and this was shortly after you were removed. He tried to expedite me out of money because I had an eighty-hour shift, um, which I worked seventy hours in all actuality because I got lucky, but. It was a very publicly known 80-hour shift. Even you knew about the 80-hour shift, right? Yep. I could tell. You worked it over 80... I could tell you worked over 80 hours, because I actually was, like... Since I was going to a private school at the time, I actually worked at least a total of two hours a day. Mm-hmm. Like, so, I've been going to a private school since, well, ninth grade, and then... Currently, I was supposed to graduate in 2020 from public school, but then... Still, I'm graduating this year, so that's a good thing. Well, congrats. And so, again, that 80-hour shift, Davis hit me up right away for money. And at first, I gave him financial advice because, obviously, he was friendly with me. And I was like, okay, cool. He gave me – I can send you the screen share of what he what he did to me if you haven't seen it on my Twitter yet. Um... Oh, I actually – I actually – I can I check Twitter every now and then. Like lately, I've been like on and off since like you know like at one point I joined like the first year like my first year of adulthood I joined the role playing Twitter at, at that point. <laughs> Keep it on topic, but yeah, uh, but yeah, this is yeah, the that's how I found Story Valley at that point. <laughs> yeah, hey, d I'm sorry about that, but um, yeah, pretty much right after you were removed, you can see that. He pretty much celebrate you getting removed. And then he sent me a link to a private server. And I tried recording the thing, but he had a robot who 
would stop, would not let me record, and it was actually very staticky. So he had like a weird robot that was like, where you couldn't really hear that well. Yeah, I can tell. That actually would be that. Those types of bots are actually used to prevent like, to prevent any kind of spying. Mm-hmm. My and family was in the military, so I can I've learned some of this stuff behind the scenes. And you can tell that this was a pretty much after this chat is over, pretty much the Discord died right away. Pretty much it was used to accidentally me out of money. So I gave him good advice about the money. And then all of a sudden, in the middle of our conversation, he started really pushing me for money. And then he's like, you're not allowed to move from Pokemon training card game. You're not allowed to talk about what happened. And he started fronting me. And then he's just like, he really started digging in. He's like, you better not tell any admins. You better not tell anyone about this. Or else you will regret it. I'll make sure you'll regret it. You will regret everything. Um, and I'm like, wait a second. And then he still sent me his PayPal information and i'm like i don't know about this i i might i i ha i would have to think about it and i was just like i'm like do you send your paypal information to someone that you met online and then say it's a joke i'm one of those types of people who would never stoop that low you know mm -hmm. so i've learned that I've learned that earning it your own way. I've learned that earning it by yourself is more is is more of an actual has more satisfaction to it than actually than actually getting it off of others. Thank you, and that's why Furry Valley did that experience system. It's because oh cool, I did an event, I get 100 experience for that. Again, we're like oh cool, we're getting something for our hard work. And again, like what Davis did to you. And I'm honored that you're talking to me, and we've been talking for like 21 minutes. <laughs> so we have to yep. start wrapping it up. So is there anything that you want to say for your closing statements? Well, if, if Zavis is listening, I want him to know I said fuck you, Zavis. Basically, you're, if you're still in Oklahoma, you can go fuck yourself. And that's one of those things I want to tell Zavis. But to those who are to those who are listening, I'd like you to know that that if you see someone with autism, show them some respect. Like. Like, you know, like what Fallen did with me. Mm -hmm. I gave you a platform to say the thing. And you are justly right to say what you said because I was disgusted. And I'm thankful that you gave me an opportunity to close this final wound of mine. And obviously, you will be part of Whistleblowers. And this could probably be a good way of probably our probably a friendship or a partnership could work with us. Again, I'd rather try to keep my bonds with the people who I pretty much talked with. And I might work a lot, but at least you know that I'm willing to give you advice. And I won't betray you. And you know that. I, I can tell. I can tell. Basically, by my loyalty, I could tell the reason why you were avoiding me was because of what was going on. I actually could tell that there was something going on, basically, by the by the way you were kind to me when we first met. And I'm always kind to people. Again, um, before we close this off, obviously, you went a little bit off topic. I'm going to go a little bit off topic. Um, I'm a three-time winner on online reality games. So something that I learned after my two-time win is that you should always give people your true self. And... My true self is a very kind, humble person. And to always show your true self might be very draining on your social battery, but you make real friends and real connections with people when you show the true self than trying to fake, hide in the fake facade that Zavis has been doing for such a long time. I, I agree with that, actually. I actually am, I was one of those that actually... Shown, shown the more kinder self, regardless of regardless of, of a social situation. And I thank you for your maturity. Again, you only said fuck you once, and I do agree with what you said. Again, he fucked me over with um, Town of Salem and Truth or Dare, and he decided to give me a strike where he said I had complete power over it. And I was just like, again, if Davis gets removed... I would probably need you or Fancy or someone who's been bullied by him pretty much there to just make sure that he does not go off the rails. Because again, 
whistleblowers is open to any admin that's been removed. And I will stay true to that statement. But with Davis, it will be hard for me because it's just that open wound that's just going to be a gashing wound. For me, it'll, it'll probably be the same as well. A wound that I'm willing to open up as long as it gets as long as it fully heals. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't, and he acts the way that he's been acting, it's just disgusting. But I rather you know that if he does get removed, I I would have to do my job as a person who's letting people like you, Dark Fox, like Mint, Dan, Fancy, people who want to just completely leave Furry Valley behind, tell the tell their experience of what happened as their admins, and just be like. I'm done with this server. Hey, I'm a better person. Um, and again, you're showing maturity, which a lot of people like that. And I do want to thank you. So is there anything else before I stop this podcast? Well, there is one bit of advice. If you actually were, if you're wronged by somebody, show them, show them, show, give them the other hand, give them the, Turn the other cheek and show them more maturity. That's the one. That's the one bit of advice I can give. If mm -hmm. this type of situation happens to you, then if it happens to you more than once, even if even if you don't have contact with that same person, just turn the other cheek, regardless. Well, thank you so much, Dark Fox. Until next time, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>